I released my presets pack one month ago and in this video I'll show you guys how to use every single preset in it. It has over 100 Dragon Dot presets and only costs $8. You can check it out with the first link in the description below. Now let's get right into the video. It is extremely easy to import in the presets pack. Just right click on the presets folder and just find wherever you saved it and in my case it's over here. So I'm going to click open and it should appear over here. And that's it. First up, we've got basic tools. Let's say I've got this PNG picture over here and I want to add some drop shadow. Easy peasy. Just drag and drop this effect and boom, you've got drop shadow. Let's say you want to remove the screen screen over here. A subscribe animation. Easy. Just add this screen screen effect and boom, it's gone with no green outlines whatsoever. What if your green screen is not the correct color? Easy peasy, just add the green screen effect. You can see it's gray over here, so just select it again, like this, and boom, it's gone, no green outlet. Next up, we've got the crop effect. Let's say I want to crop out this cat. Um, beautiful cat. I'll just add the crop effect, and select it in the uh, effects controls, and you can just crop it and that's it yeah next up we've got basic 3d so let's say you've got this uh screen recording over here and um uh, you want to add some basic 3d to it so it's extremely easy to do that uh just add the basic 3d effect and uh you can see there's a 3d effect to it and it looks awesome Let's say you wanted to animate this picture with some motion blur. Just add the smooth transform with motion blur by default, of course. So it has the uh, position keyframe already toggled on by default. So now you can start animating however you like. I don't care. Anything you want. So you got some motion blur, which is pretty awesome. You can check out some of my other videos to see why this is useful. Next up, we've got slide animations. We got slide in and slide out animations. As you can see, this image looks pretty bad and this cut is just awful. So I want to animate this in. That's pretty easy. Just add in the slide in up animation and it looks pretty good. Except this part. So we just have to fix it like this. Let's go to the first keyframe and just move it down. So good. I want to animate this out, I will just use the zoom out. And it looks pretty good. We can also add this to videos as well. Let's say I want to add a slide in down. And it looks pretty good. And I'll add in a zoom out. Sometimes it will have an animation cut like this. So just go to the last keyframe and just move it up. It looks pretty good. Next up, we've got shakes. So we've got the earthquake shake here. Just add it and it looks pretty cool. And for the gaming diamond shake, please check out my other video for that. It's much more detailed than this one. Uh, and we've got gentle shake. Just add this to this clip. And it looks pretty good. And we've got uh, heavy shake, which is a uh, more intense version of the gentle shake. And it's a bit more intense. Uh, we've also got red anger shake, which is pretty cool. got a swing animation many people asked me for this preset and there you go looks pretty cool i use this preset in many other videos which you can check out with the links in the description below and we've also got some shakes for text as well got up and down animations and uh yeah you can just explore all of these um, other shakes 
after you buy the preset pack. Next up we've got transitions. So I've got these two images and I want to transition between them. It's super easy. Just create a new adjustment layer like this and um, just click OK. Do, you don't need to change any of this. Just add it to the top and just uh, snap it to the cut like this and then just make it 12 frames long you can see the duration in frames now duplicate it and duplicate it again and make it longer so at the bottom two add in the main preset um, now it looks weird but it's okay it's normal and on the top one add one of these any of these i'm going to add this one uh, looks pretty cool of course you can just press alt alt and drag it and you can just add it anywhere and it will just work okay what if you want to change this up without adding adjustment layers constantly easy just right click on the the one on the top and click on remove attributes press ok and done now you can add a different effect like the zoom in and yeah now it looks bad over here so to fix this just go to the first one and press shift e this is only for zoom in uh and zoom out nothing else uh, for the rest of the effects just do what i did over here for zoom in uh disable the first one for zoom out disable the second one We've also got some transitions that don't need the main preset. So just drag and drop it on the image clip, whatever. And you got the transition. I don't like this one, but I know people who do. There are zoom, there are 3D flip in and 3D flip out. So you get this. I don't like it, but uh, you might like it. Uh, there are many, you can check them out. And yeah, but I do like this one, the impact in, just, just put in the second one on top of the first one and then add this one in. It, it looks pretty cool. Actually it looks better with text. Text, I'll put some text here and let's turn up. So I'm going to add this to the text and it looks super cool. So some of these transitions also work on text. Test them out yourself. And we've also got some other ones like pixelate in. Yeah, those also work on text. Um, there's an issue I found in a presets pack, like one of the only issues I found. Um, so when you put in the pixelate out, it doesn't work properly. That's an issue because I forgot to do something, but you can change it right now. Just change it. It's easy. Just right click on it, go to preset properties, and then change this to this. That's it. Now you're done. You add this and it works properly. Next up, we've got video effects. So these images over here and I can add these effects. So Android will just make it pixelated. Oh also got 3d pan you already know how it looks like it's kind of different but yeah um you've got black and white so on any any image or video and we'll just turn black and white uh, we also got black bars you can see on the top we also got an animated version of them we got different layers so this one different in set intensities see them and we've got a circle cop which is extremely useful so i just added it to this image over here and just change the radius just lower it until until it just cuts just change the radius and just play around with the center you can just move it from here and yeah that's it we've also got other ones like clip winner we'll just do this here clip i don't know it'll be it might be useful in amvs also got deep fried which will just make your image like this and yeah just add it to any image or video 
and it will look cool oh we also got there so we can add there to your video or image and we have also got glow so we'll just make your image or video glow that's it we've also got another version of the android effect so it just pixelates it again it's like the android one but it's a bit different and we've also got widescreen which is the most useful the most useful one so far just add it to any picture and then just change the position so it centers up like this and you got yourself some white screen i guess and you've also got borders so if i scale this down scale this down like this you can see the borders here so i'll just add in the border yeah there's a white border around it there's also a thicker version and yeah and there's one thing even to this image right here and yeah it also works on circles so it might cut out sometimes but yeah it works so we'll just change the radius and now it works and now we've got audio effects so i've got this audio over here and i want to add some effects to it so i pitch i released my presets back one month ago um also low pitch i released my presets back one month ago uh that sounds like a man or something <laughs> uh, we also got outside room which is if someone's outside the room it will sound like this i released my presets back one month ago doesn't sound too good but it could be useful in short films or something uh, there's also re reverb uh we'll just make your voice echo i released my presets back one month ago and there's also this wobble voice. I release my presets back one. And yeah, you can just click um, edit over here and you can choose a different preset. And yeah, you can choose, choose any of this. I'll choose robotic and yeah, you got a robotic voice now. I release my presets back one month ago. Next up, we've got subtitle animations here. So we've got all these plus some extras. So got these subtitles ready um synced with the audio here with the voiceover so it's a normal normal subtitle animation so when animating with uh, my presets here i just want you to uh, center up all of your text otherwise um it won't look as good um i'll show you guys how to move it over here over here anywhere you want on the screen how to scale it and make it smaller whatever you want to do so let's say you're um text is not centered so let's say it's here so uh, it's pretty easy to center it up just click on go to go to the uh central graphics panel and click on these two buttons and it should be centered or just press control if it's not working just press control and drag it around until you bring it to the center that's it so now we've got um all of them centered in now we can select all of them and add one of these um and one of these uh, effects or presets whatever you want to call them so i'll add this one uh, they look pretty good you can check them out yourself there are many also my uh mr beast text animation and uh, it might not look good on some so you have to uh bring the anchor point in the middle and then center it up again and now it looks pretty good looks pretty good um we've also got big pop in um we got um mini over here i really like this one um but it doesn't look good with uh long animations if it's long text um if i add it to this one it looks pretty good but uh, my favorite uh fast text animations i just add it and it looks pretty good and we got the burst stretch yeah this also looks pretty good we've got many you can check them out after buying in the presets pack um there are also some extras here uh we've also got some extras over here so uh they basically work 
on longer sentences but i'll just show them here if you want to check them out um i've got many we've also got some extras over here so they work better with longer text so if your text is a sentence and not one word then yeah it looks better like that um, we got many over here like this one like uh this one this one you can test all of these out when you get the presets back they just all look amazing and yeah that's it now that you have your animations ready you want to move them here 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 anywhere on the screen so how do you do that it's extremely simple select all of the text all of the subtitles right click on them and select nest make sure they're in the center of them and then just select the newly created nested sequence and just move it around easy don't scale it up too much the quality will drop because uh, nested sequences just turn anything into plain footage and that's it you can move it anywhere you can move it here or here yeah, basically anywhere and it will work perfectly fine next up we've got character animations so i've got this character here and i want to animate in so i'll just go here and go to slide in i'll just add it to the uh, image and boom we've got this and it's pretty cool it's lagging right now but it looks pretty cool so you would want to change the position a bit so i'm gonna move it up like this yeah there you go a animation and there you go and in animation we've also got a out version of this so let me show you that so slide out and there's two versions for it i would suggest using version two it just looks better just use that but you can also check out the first version as well let's see this and yeah we got this animation here um you might want to change the position again just a bit and yeah we got it and there you go next up we've got bounce animations so i've got this text here uh with the up and down shake which you can check out with the in the shakes section in the presets pack um so uh there are two in here so slide in and slide out so I'll add the slide in we'll just bounce slide in and yeah that's it looks pretty cool um you can use this on text you can use this on images you can use this on clips basically any type of layer in adobe premiere pro uh, there's also a slide out so i'll add that as well and yeah there you go next up we've got waves waves are extremely easy to use just add them to any image or something image or video and there you go, you've got different intensities. I got a slow version, a fast version, a uh, very fast version, and also a very slow version. It also works on text, but it might not look as good. Uh, it's intended for images and um, images and videos, so it might not always look good on text. Next up, we've got 3D animations. So I've got this um, screen recording again, and you can add these 3D effects to them. Just 3D rotations to them, like different ones, right to left, left to right. Like, like I don't like them, but um, they might be useful in tra some transitions. So yeah, they're just there and like them you might hate them but it's up to you zoom animation so all these are zoom ins there aren't any zoom outs because i couldn't create them in time and there was an issue in premiere pro where um it wouldn't zoom out properly and stuff so um yeah 
so instead of showing you guys how to use everything over here just check out my tutorial i, I already explained everything there uh, just add the zoom in presets instead of animating with me and just animate the zoom out once it's set so the, the link for it will be in the description and at the top of the video right now that concludes this video hope you liked it i know it was a long one and i'm glad you watched till the end you can download the presets pack with the first link in the description below it only costs eight dollars but you can donate more if you want to support me and motivate me to upload more often the next video will be about some free presets and templates and a collab with someone so stay tuned for that it won't be as many presets as my pack but there will be quite a few